Hello, uh, in this video I would like to tell you about cryoablation breast cancer. As you may know, cryoablation is becoming more and more popular in recent years in the treatment of uh, breast cancer. First, I would like to describe how, how the procedure is done. It is quite simple. Uh, we numb the skin first and then we put the cryo needle uh, through the skin into the tumor under ultrasound guidance. Uh, after we activate the machine, cryo machine, a large ice ball is formed and on ultrasound we can uh, monitor this ice ball and we can see that the ice ball is totally covering the tumor so we can make sure that the whole tumor tissue is included in the treatment area. Since the ice ball is clearly seen during the procedure, it is very easy to protect the surrounding structures like skin. Uh, if necessary, we can warm the skin or we can inject some fluid between the skin and the uh, tumor. Uh, cryoablation is done under local anesthesia and conscious sedation. It is uh, almost totally painless. Uh, it takes about uh, half an hour to one hour to complete the uh, procedure, depending on the tumor size. And uh, shortly after the procedure, the, the patient may simply get dressed and return to normal life immediately. The procedure is very suitable uh, to, to perform in locations outside hospitals, like in uh, doctor's office and in other uh, health centers. The results of cryoablation is quite similar to surgical lumpectomy. In a recent study, um, the local recurrence rate was found to be only 2%, which is equal or uh, almost better than surgical lumpectomy. Uh, after Cryoablation, like lumpectomy, most patients uh, should undergo radiotherapy treatments. The best candidates of these treatments uh, are luminal A disease, that is, estrogen receptors positive, progesterone receptors positive, and HER2 negative. Uh, but uh, in many other cases, the procedure has the potential to treat other types of uh, breast cancer tumors. Cryoablation may be a good choice in multicentric or multifocal uh, tumors. In such tumors, lumpectomy is generally not desired because the surgeon has to remove a much larger tissue than a single tumor. So in such a case, the cosmetic appearance of the breast uh, may be severely affected. Uh, but in cryoablation, since we are not removing any tissue, uh, we can kill or destroy uh, as many cancers as needed without harming the cosmetic appearance of the breast. Uh, so in uh, such tumors, cryoablation may be a good choice.